campus, it's dinner again, back today for the third time. <laughs> uh, as promised, I did say I would come on and show you how I made this one. This is for our sketch that I put up on a, on a Monday morning. Um, love this absolutely beautiful stamp set. And it's called Awesomely Artistic. Very pretty. Love this bouquet. I love the friend. I love this leaf. We're going to be using the splatters. We're going to be using washi tape. And your pieces you will need are rich raspberry, eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. We're going to fold that in half. We have a piece that is uh, three and seven eighths by five and five eighths. And then we've got a smaller piece. <laughs> this must be for the inside. Uh, I'm going to swap that actually. This we need two, the same size, one for the inside and one for the outside. You're going to need a piece then, which is three and seven eighths by one and a half, and the designer series paper is three and five eighths, oh three and three quarters, sorry, by one and three eighths. Just the tiniest little border all the way round. And then we've got this piece here. This is uh, two and three eighths by three and three eighths, and the whisper white is two and a half by three and a half. This is where our beautiful bouquet is going. So I'm going to fetch the trim in that beautiful card. Absolutely gorgeous. One is going in the box with the rain. I have put 20 cards in there today. Uh, you'll see on the next on the last video. The lovely Stella Morris sent me a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous stamp set and a punch to match. And I made 15 cards in just over 45 minutes. I did pause it a little bit. But uh, I put them in the box and I'm going to put Stella's name on these and pop them in the box for her. Just to show my appreciation. She sent me so many gifts, bless her. And I love her to death. She's going to make a pledge that she's going to come over and see me one day. I can't wait. She said that's going on the box. <laughs> Stella Morris, you get yourself over to the UK, my darling. You come stay with me and hubby. We have a spare room. So these are for Stella. For the 50, anyway, 20 cards I put in the box today. Uh, I've been collecting them all the week. Uh, that includes this one here as well. That's going in the box. The one I'm going to make tonight is going towards my thank you cards for my customers because it's that time of the month <laughs> so I'm gonna seal them up later my darling uh, and I'll seal them now and then I no, I'll still seal them later and we'll put the kisses and hearts on and then we'll pop them in the box for you my darling but thank you so much thank you so so much for contributing so much as you have done I think you are a tremendous lady and you didn't have to do any of this but that the goodness, goodness of your heart you have I just had an email off a fellow demonstrator asking would I mind if she puts me forward to stamping up to join as part of the artisan team and I was like whoa really you want me to do that and uh, she said yes <laughs> isn't that amazing this is going on the front after we stamped. I am going to add Wink Costella around my uh, card front. I don't know if you can see it on here, but I have done it. And I love the spots. So, this is for the inside. I'm going to do a bit of decoration on this as well. So let me attach these two pieces. They can be put to one side. And this is, if you go on my Facebook, which is stamp with joy if you're not already a member please ask to join and i will welcome you in with open arms every monday morning i put a new sketch up or a challenge like 3d projects or a color challenge and everyone everyone who enjoys these challenges joins in i add you to the album then on the sunday night then i add all the pictures to the blog and Everyone then can visit the blog and go and see their creations on the site. And they love it, absolutely love it. So I'm going to put my glue lid back on. Yeah, I have so much fun making those cards. 
I even got my stamps ready. <laughs> They're still inside. So I'm going to place them on my blocks. And I'm loving the rich raspberry. Absolutely stunning colour. So I'm going to add these beautiful dots. I have this uh, little leaf here. I have my framework for my friend's word. And I've just got... I'm even assembling my blocks feel. <laughs> that's the friend, that's that, that's the spots, that's the leaf. And I think that's all I used on this one. So, I'm going to fetch in this beautiful rich raspberry. I love this colour. Absolutely love it. I mistakenly ordered uh, a separate pack. Oh, it's there. I don't wonder I can see it sticking to my block. <laughs> I'm just going to fetch a bit of scrap in while I stamp my flowers. It's blowing a gale outside. I'm sure most people in England are just getting blasted with the snow that's coming in from Siberia. Absolutely felt like minus um, 11 this morning. Horrendous. So I'm just going to stamp this beautiful image. Oh my word. It just gets nicer the more you stamp it. Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. So, um, for the inside of the card, I'm, I'm not going to stamp... Okay, I'm throwing my blocks. I'm just going to pop one of these in the corner. A nice light dusting. Maybe a touch at the top. Isn't that beautiful? Who wouldn't want to write a gorgeous message around that? Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oops, that's a small piece. Oh, all this wind is making an awful racket. And I have to find that block now. Let's see if I can reach it with my foot. Oh, hello. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that was a jab and half. So I'm going to... I'm going to stamp my dots. And then I'm going to stamp off. Off. And just lightly go around these edges. I want some on my flowers as well. I don't think one lady liked it because she said there's way too many dots. <laughs> Overkill. I do apologise, my darling. But I love my dots because I'm dotty. <laughs> so, I'm just going to stamp once. Oh, I love it. And I'm turn this around now so my pattern changes. I'm mainly going around the outside. Oh, left that one a bit full strength, I think. Turn this around. Keep forgetting to stamp off. What a pretty design. Tell you what, stamping up, think of everything. So she's going to email stamping up and see what they say about me joining their artisan team. Oh my gosh, can you imagine that? I would love that. So that's that for, for now. Oh, wait there now, I'm going to add my leaf. Now, I did add them, but you can't really see them because they're blocked off. So I'm going to stamp where you can see them, maybe. A little bit higher up. And maybe down this bottom corner. I love this leaf. I think that's plenty. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. I'm even going to put some of those little play ones in. No one's going to see them. That's why. Um, 
Now I'm going to come in with my framework. I hope I haven't gone a bit. I'm going to turn this round actually because I want my. I want this right through here with my friend. Oh, isn't that beautiful? There's a little nick out the side, and you think it's damaged, but it's not. It's meant to be there, and it's beautiful. This is relative a quick card when you think about it. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. So, I'm going to close my ink. I think that's all I need this for. Oh my gosh, it's going to be over in seconds. <laughs> my scraps bin. And here's that gorgeous little washi tape again. Oh, I love this stuff. I haven't got much of this left, actually. But just lately, I've got a bundle on washi tape. Look at by the end. Probably going the wrong way. Okay. And I just dressed my edges oh there's a flash of light, we've got a bit of lightning as well by the looks of it I'm just going to wrap around each corner oh my word, can you hear that? It sounds awful out there Makes you think about those homeless people. Bless their souls in this weather. When I was a little bit fitter than what I am now, we, me and hubby used to go out with meals and take them around the streets of Swansea and feed the homeless. We'd do a sandwich, a hot meal with those plastic Chinese containers, sandwiches, crisps, cakes, biscuits, you know, anything to, to fill them up a little bit. Especially at this time of year. I think of them out there in this dreadful weather. Oh, it pricks my heart. Isn't that beautifully dressed? Absolutely stunning. I love it. Down our last piece. I'm overlapping, obviously, to wrap around. I like the fact that it's dressed in corners. Oops. Straighten this up. And I just wrap it around. People say they don't use washi tape, they don't know what to do with it. And look what it's just done to this piece of Whisper White. It's just dressed it perfectly. Isn't that gorgeous? That fair play to stamping up, making everything match the way they do. So I'm going to fetch in my glue. I'm just going to glue my inner piece. I don't think this needs anything else. We should have got to send my glue though. I'm running out. Some of the cards these ladies uh, post on a Monday, well, all the week under the sketch are absolutely amazing. I love each and every one of them. They do a fantastic job. And it's so pleasing for everyone to get involved and they all compliment each other. They all leave beautiful comments for each other and it's amazing. I just love it. How a crafting community can come together the way that they do. I've made so many new friends and they're going to be lifers from now on. When I call somebody a lifer, it means you've got me for life. I'm not one of these that's just going to pass through, do what I do and disappear. I'm a lifer. Once a friend, always a friend. That's how easy that went on. I'm just going to smooch. Oh, 
that's really pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. This is going on next. Just across there. And then this piece, when we adhere these together, they're going to go on dimensionals. Like I say, a relatively quick card, but uh, it depends all on the stamps that you use. We've had so many variations of this card this week, and every one of them has been truly outstanding. And you're just going to make sure it goes from end to end. Oops, don't slide now, going the wrong way. A bit too much. Just so it covers the washi tape. I'll just make sure that looks straight. Looks good to me. <laughs> so now what I did, I fetched one of my blends in. That's a pencil, that's no good. This is a, what's a new one, this one. And find my older one. There we are, that's it. And what I did, just opened up the lid. There's already um, ink there. Oh, look at that. Pop that up out the way. And what I did, I just grabbed my blends pen and just went down each of the flowers. Not to actually all fill it all in, just to give it a bit of colour. Stir down all the petals. And you've even got some different shades. Picking up a bit of colour as you go along. It soon comes to life, it's absolutely beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous. Any more flowers? Yes, I can see a few here. And then once this is semi-dried, we're going to go in with the leaves and we're going to do the same with... I think I used... Uh, where's my scrap gone? I think I used... I used um, wild wasabi, I can't remember. Any green will do, but what I'm going to do, because it's a different colour, I'm, I'm going to come in from the other end. I think it's old olive, I think. Yes. And I'm just drawing down, I'm not colouring, I'm not just, I'm just doing the same as what I did with the petals. I'm just coming in. on the leaves. And there, there is a little bit of pink actually that mingles in there but it doesn't really make any odds. I'm just adding colour. In and pick up some more green. I think that's it. Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. Perfect. Make sure you clean your blends in between each use. Because <laughs> if you don't, you're going to forget what's what and what went where. I love them stamping up there. 
Isn't that beautiful? So where's my glue? I'm going to have to be careful now because my lid has got a bit of ink on it. So pretty. I would like to say you, I can love pulling out an old stamp set. No, it's not so much old. It's not current. It's not in the little catalogues right now. It's something that gets forgotten about until the new catalogues come out. And then we notice it if it's gone over into the next catalogue. Have you noticed that? Oh, that is so pretty. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So, I'm going to clean that off after. I'm going to add dimensionals. And I'm going to have two at the bottom and two at the top because of the band through the centre. Oops. It's a new packet. It always uh, gets a bit clingy at the beginning. And I didn't even add any gems whatsoever. But I did add Wink Stella. Perfect, absolutely perfect. So I'm just going to have this about there. And before I press, I want to make sure it's straight. Yeah, that looks cool to me. So I'm going to give my Winker Stella a little squeeze because it's running a bit dry. You can just see it running down the sides. There it is. See it? What I do is I put it in shake because if you do it without the lid on, it tends to fly all over the place. So I'm just going to go around the outside of my card. And it just adds a little bit more sparkle to your project. I love this. Absolutely love it. Careful because it can get a bit drippy after you've filled that channel. And now I'm going to just go down each of these petals, smooching that colour out with the Winker Stella. Perfect. Oh, it's so therapeutic that it is colouring. To me it is, anyway. Remind, every time I go colouring and do stuff like this, it reminds me of when me and Lola would do it on a Sunday, uh, on a Friday night. Which what really got me into stamping up, really. I have my gorgeous granddaughter to uh, thank for that. And my wonderful husband for finding me lovely as a tree. And the lovely Michelle last, who is my up boy. Oh, that is so pretty. I'm going to clean off the bristles. Just gonna add a little bit to my leaves. Only the tiniest little bit, just to give it some shimmer. Clean up your bristles in between, because there is red as well. But you could add this as a shabby sheet card, add some lace and some doilies and stuff. Oh I think that's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Do I think it needs a little gem? No, I don't. I think it's perfect. Isn't that wonderful? Absolutely gorgeous. I think this is a little bit darker than this one, but how beautiful is the inside of this card, as well as the front. So that's how I made our sketch card for this week. 
I do hope you like it. And I told you it wasn't a very long card to make. Um, I've been cutting up my card press, getting my supplies ready. I depleted a load when I was made those 15 cards earlier, but uh, it was all worth it. Right, I'm going to love and leave you all. Um, thumbs up and a share. Please press this button in the corner and a bell afterwards and you'll be notified of all future videos. But I love you all so much. And don't forget, there is a little donation button down in the description bar. Oh, let me just do these for Stella. I don't want her to think I've got just written them out, but I'm not going to do anything. Because I certainly am, my darling. And she made these little envelopes for me. Absolutely perfection. Their Aunt Mandy sent me in uh, these lovely little envelopes and they're fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. And if anyone wants the details about the challenge, if you go to my blog, um, scroll down on the right hand side, it'll say five card cancer research challenge. Click the title and all the details will come up. The addresses for the UK to send and American address as well, the lovely about Carla Bostic. Um, she's collecting for cards in the USA if you can't afford the postage to the UK because it can be quite expensive so we've given alternative address this time and the lovely Carla is doing that for me here's my lovely real red and my love hearts stamp both sides as you do and if somebody's just watching wondering what this is all about we are having a, a, a challenge running right now from now well it's been going since january end of january right through to the tw uh, middle of 28th of june you send in five cards and each five cards gets you a little envelope which is an entry into the draw and there's three prizes and there's 10 prizes to each winner. So, like I say, go to the blog, scroll down to the right hand side, click the title for the Cancer Research Challenge, and it'll open up all the information for you in there. Look at my box. Look at these wonderful, wonderful entries. They are absolutely fantastic. Look, these are how many people have entered already. We have 1,000. 590 cards collected already and we've still got March, April, May and June to go. So Lorraine, mm. I'll be getting in touch in the next day or two to arrange parcel delivery for you my darling. Look at all. Right, I'm going to love and leave you all. Till next time, bye.